Okay, hello professor or grader. I'm going to run through my Minimax algorithm and let's go ahead and start with the program architecture. Um, so uh, we have our, I wrote this in Python. Uh, we have our, our main class and that's going to read from our text files with our data and then main will use uh, Minimax dance search to solve our dance battle. Um, Minimax dance search uh, uses Minimax dance node, which extends from a basic node class. Um, also uses utility. Uh, we have the successor function and utility here. Um, and then we have uh, our Minimax dance search, of course, extending from breadth for search. So let's go ahead and dive into our code and see what we got. So here's our main class. Um, basic imports, setting up our uh, minimax dance search algorithm. And basically the program flows like this. We read our content, we find our solution, we print the solution. Um, and we can print the solution here and see what we get. Uh, you know, the path and then who wins. And um, pretty basic output there. Let's go ahead and dive into the code some more. Let's look at um, in my extent search. So we're setting our goal function, our successor function here. Uh, checking all of our all the currently visited nodes. That's the 2D array of true false values. Now we're checking our previous nodes. We're obtaining previous nodes, uh, which are all the uh, moves that have been taken already. Um, and then we get our starter node, which is the last value in the previous node array. Set our depth, set our visited nodes. Uh, minimax always go for, uh, max always goes first, so it's setting that to true. And then we stick it in the queue. We run breadth for search, obtain the entire tree. Um, and now we run minimax on the uh, the nodes, which have all been linked together now, and now we obtain our solution. And that's when we return the uh, output solution. So let's quickly go to our successor function, which is inside the breadth for search. Um, and this is just obtaining the next node. We take a deep copy, which is very expensive here, um, of the array of booleans. And then we you know, find the next value, uh, double check it so that the opposite value is also taken, and uh, set up and move on from there. Um, and then we move on to, so after that's obtained, we have all our success. We have all of our successors and children, uh, the full tree. We run minimax. Our base case is if we have a child there. Um, uh, if we don't have a child, uh, we turn our node. Otherwise, we want to see if this is max. Because if this is max, we want to obtain the, the grandchild node with the greatest uh, value. In this case, it is just one. Because uh, this is a very simple minimax. Um, so we run through all of our children, we put them in a list, we set our result node to any child, so the, the first one doesn't matter, we just need a solution even if it's not for a uh, max. Um, and then we run through, if, uh, if the result is greater than one, then we save the, the uh, node there, and then we return that node. And the same goes for uh, min. Um, so that is basic structure of my algorithm. Uh, it's a recursive solution. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my video and let me know uh, uh, how things go. Thank you very much.